cooking, you can do your pots and pans. I am putting almost no pressure on my squeeze and I'm just going to run having it around the entire belt. I am going to run this to help loosen. The seat belt's warm, it's, you know, it's not, it's not crazy, but crazy, whoop, I just dropped it in the bucket. Um, but it's gonna need to dry, you know, if you've got an air dryer, you could use a hair dryer. You could use a heat gun very carefully. You could uh, just let it out in the sun and let it dry. You know, you know there's always more, more than one way to skin a cat. Of course, you know, what most people are gonna do is take a microfiber, And this way you can kind of check your work. We've gone through a few different methods here. This is just a low grade microfiber just to help soak up and move my bucket. This is my clean water. It's like a two, wa two bucket seatbelt wash method. Give myself a little more room. Back this out of my way a touch. Well, maybe not Got a table holding some stuff. So when you, when you look at it, then you can be pretty sure that you've gotten all the dirt, right? You know, you could also steam this. Warm up your towel, get it a little bit moist. All you Family Guy fans out there, or any fans of, of moist, Sure. Because God knows I love it. Um, and you can come by and do your final wipe down. Dry it up a bit. Get your fittings, your harness, your belts, your clips. Don't forget the other one on the other side that's between the uh, you know pump and the seat. If your car has a transmission like that, well, it's front wheel drive. Maybe you don't have a big hump. Um, anyway, that really is about that. I think that I've achieved cleanness, and that's what I wanted, and that's what I got. All right, as promised, now that I'm going into 29 minutes, and I do apologize, but, you know, sort of, but not really. It's a beautiful morning here in Florida. We went from 90s to like a low of 63 and whatnot. I've got my glasses on because it's extremely, extremely bright out. I've got uh, those trees over there which capture the sun. Oh, I probably blinded you, but just quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold. I won't uh, be able to see. I can't do a, uh, a flip over on this uh, by hitting a button. There's my, trying to figure out exactly where that is. So, where the camera comes out on the front facing here. Yeah, the little corner. Anyway, here is uh, the motor. Um, I just put a can and filter uh, in yesterday and the thing is breathing nice. I am going to clean the throttle body. I'm going to clean the map sensor. I am going to, well, <laughs> I'm going to clean this whole thing. It's really needing a little go over, perhaps. I plan on using solution finish on all the black plastic and then ceramic coating everything. Um, I've done, you know, some window work. I replaced the blades. Um, my driver's side is where my primary concern was. I did the dash. I detailed, like I said, the steering wheel and, you know, some of those things. I just couldn't handle the dirt. I had to drive this car. My other Honda uh, daily driver has been in St. Pete for a couple weeks. Yep, this is like personal training stuff. Look. Look at those seats. I don't know how well that'll come up. Um, I thought I had flash on. But uh, anyway, the car has been given a general wipe down. I ordered these. Uh, actually, it'd be a whole lot easier to show you here. I got the sunlight. 
I ordered these OMAC um, uh, uh, customized rubber, natural rubber, rubber mats. Uh, they've got the little hook thing here, so they, they build a button in. You can kind of attach it. I thought about cutting through it. Um, but, yeah, I've kind of cleaned some of this. I've already shot some video. I've got things. Yep. I play a lot of volleyball. There's the new Optics Wilson game ball. They are awesome, and I can buy them for 45 bucks a piece. Here we've got some wasp nests, filth, dirt. I'm going to show you with the uh, Tornador Black cleaning this up. It is disgusting. I also have, I had more wasps nests in here. Um, I will show you cleaning that area and in general the car has got a lot of stuff going on and uh, it's about to become a lot cleaner. All right, thanks for being with me. Like I said, you know, subscribe, like, thumbs, do all those things. Help this channel. Subscriptions matter. Uh, share this with your friends. Put it on other forums. Uh, I need to get to a thousand subscriptions before I can, you know, be fully monetized and all that kind of stuff. And that'll help me a lot too. So anyway, um, I thank you for being with me. I think I'm going to take the Z4M on about an hour and 15 uh, minute drive to Brooksville to meet my mom. I'm really super excited about that with COVID and the pandemic and uh, her husband being uh, all the more, more morbidity uh, things. He's got diabetes and he's got problems. And so anyway, it's been not a great year in some ways, but I feel like 2021 is going to be absolutely amazing as uh, a lot of great things are happening for me personally in my life. I want to share them with you. I want to help all of you that I can. So allow me to by making this channel grow, helping my analytics with Google, which is, you know, the king of everything. And uh, I'll get back to you. All right. Y'all take care. Check out the garage for one last time. I don't know if I make any more videos in here, but I am getting packed up. I am packing up in my house and I am rocking out to some old school NWA because, yeah, I was listening to them when the first uh, album came out. Peace. Love you all. And uh, take care and enjoy making your vehicles beautiful. Until next time, this is JJ on the flip side. Yep, that's the flip side. <gasps> Double flip side. Take care.